It's 2020 and the new year is here. And the first thing I wanna tell you guys is it doesn't matter where you're at right now. It doesn't matter where you're starting. What matters is where you finish. Let me explain. So yesterday, I had this crazy, crazy experience. Yesterday, I had to go to the Arizona Bankruptcy Court where 10 years ago, almost 10 years ago to the day, I was there filing bankruptcy. In 2009, I started my first business. It was a miserable failure. I lost about $50,000 and I didn't know what to do. So I went to an attorney and I said, here's what's going on, here's what, hap here's what happened, what should I do? And he said, you know what, man, you're a young man, you're 23, 24 years old, just file bankruptcy, just wipe the slate clean and start over. So that's what I did. And almost 10 years ago to the day, I went down and I filed those documents, December 28th, 2009. Now, I was back there again yesterday because I'm going through the process of getting a loan. And the bank asked me for the discharge paperwork and all the documentation from the bankruptcy 10 years ago. So I had to go back and get those records for the bank. And I found myself standing in line and I had this crazy flashback of emotion and it was just like, oh my God, I was right back there to that point 10 years ago where I was at arguably the lowest point in my life. And after I printed off the documents, I was looking through them and there was some crazy shit in here, guys. Like I had to state what my income was for 2008 and 2009. My income in 2008 was $10,000, like 10,000 and change. My income for 2009 for the total year was $14,556. And at the time I had exactly $156 in my checking account. I was fucking broke, I was miserable, I hated my life and I had no idea what I was gonna do. That's where 2010, the new decade started for me. And I had that crazy walk down memory lane at the beginning of 2020, which it was not planned. It just was kind of this forced crazy experience that took place and as it happened, I thought to myself, holy fuck, this is where I started 10 years ago and look at where I'm at today. Wow, I'm the CEO of an amazing company. The last 10 years of my life have been incredible. It's been a true dream come true. I've built and sold four different companies. I've I spent seven years traveling the world, 30 plus countries. I lived in beach villas in Thailand and loft apartments in Buenos Aires and Barcelona. And I tell you that not to impress you because at the end of the day, who fucking cares? I'm telling you that to impress upon you that it didn't matter where I started then, it mattered how I finished. And today what I wanted to share with you guys is the same message. It doesn't matter how you've played up to this point. It doesn't matter what the scoreboard says. It doesn't matter where you're starting, whether you're getting your ass kicked and, and you're losing by a mile or you're on the path. It doesn't matter where you're starting. What matters is how you're gonna finish, how you show up today and then the next day and then the next day. And that experience of sitting there in the bankruptcy court, a moment that quite honestly, I'm not proud of. I was looking through those documents and I, I felt a little bit of shame for just giving up, for just doing what that attorney said, just wiping the slate clean, just not taking responsibility for my actions. I felt a little bit of shame in that moment, but I also felt so much grace because that was a moment that taught me so much. And that's why I've come to believe that failure is our greatest teacher. We learn way more when we fail than when we do when we succeed, right? It's great to win. It's great to have those victories and to celebrate, but when we fail, we tend to take a step back and to ponder, to look for what happened, to reflect, to see why things went wrong, and to learn and grow through that failure. And that's why I know wholeheartedly that the key to success in anything is being willing to fail. Being willing to fail until you learn how to do it right. One of my good friends says, anything worth doing is worth doing really bad until you learn how to do it well. And that's my, that's my message and my challenge for you guys today. No matter where you're at, no matter what your starting point is, be willing to fail in 2020 so that you can learn and grow through those failures in your pursuit to being the best that you can be. If you do that, if you have the willingness to put yourself out there, to stretch beyond your comfort zone and to fail, I promise you 2020 is gonna be an incredible year. I'll see you guys next week.